Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I just to ensure. Yep. So that's just one of many examples of how you can um, use Snapcart, right? Uh, and tools you can use Snapcart with. Uh, we we specifically chose this one because it's a very Jamstack centric one, and it's a trendy one. And um, you know we we like Vue.js, uh, we like Strapi, so that kind of stuff. But um, regardless of what stack you decide to use with Snapcart. Uh, the process will always be twofold, if you will. So the first one really is about choosing your stack, um, building your website, and then integrating the e-commerce layer that is Snipcart into that website. So that's part one, and it's part of the developer experience, right? Um, part two uh, is for the merchant, for the actual store owner that will be running that business. So we want to have a smooth handoff uh, between part one and part two. And the way to do that is to have a user-friendly dashboard where you can manage most of your e-commerce operations. So I'm going to be sharing my screen um, so you folks can see what the Snipcart dashboard looks like. My computer is doing some weird noises. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm guessing you're seeing my other face in the left bottom. I'm trying to do an experiment. I'm trying to record this with Loom at the same time. Oh yeah, it's a Mac, Derek. All right, um, so let's let's go. Um, this is Snipcast dashboard. Um, it does not come with my picture in the lower left corner. Uh, this is, <laughs> do not fear. Um, the goal here is to, the first screen is to give you an overview of what's been going on with your store, how many orders have come in, money you're making, items you're selling, that kind of stuff. You can filter by dates. That's basically a bird's eye view of what's going on in your store, right? And then you have a simple orders listing where you can see all of the orders that are being processed on your store. So here we can see that uh, some people from Westeros have been digging our cupcakes and ordering them. If we try to see Jon Snow's order by clicking here, you get a bunch of details such as billing and shipping information, how it was paid. Um, if you want to do a refund, that's also where you can do this, either the entire order or partial one. You can add some notes and comments to your order and basically set up its uh, determine its status. Subscriptions, I won't be spending a lot of time on, um, mostly because our dev team is spending a lot of time on subscriptions these days because we're trying to ship them uh, for the V3. For those of you who are new with Snipcart, our latest version is the V3. Um, subscriptions were and are still available with the V2, but we're taking it up a notch. We're upgrading that feature a lot for V3 and it's it's a chunky piece. It's taking us some time. So we hope to ship these this awesome feature before the holidays. So I won't bore you with the horrifying statistics of how many carts and dollars are left on the table when it comes to e-commerce, but there's a lot. Um, important feature when you're managing a store is trying to you know, get some of these potential revenues back into your own pockets. To do so, we have a listing of abandoned carts, uh, which you can interact with, you can send email manually. But the interesting part is the recovery campaigns, correct? Uh, that's, that's a feature that lets you build automated e email sequences to recover some of these carts and complete the orders that were abandoned. So I created one here, a simple one to show you what it looks like. Um, so I called it early card drops uh, on all orders above $5. And it's an aggressive one, right? The first step, the email one you're seeing is sent uh, right 15 minutes after the, the abandon. Uh, and I'm attaching a discount to that, cup that cup, where a prefixed amount is de deducted from the order, $15. 
So the cool thing is you can also customize how that email will look like if you use our email templates. Um, cool thing is you can add as many steps as you want. Um, so let's say I want to say I want to reach out to them again uh, after two days and attach a new discount. I could do that, right? So that lets kind of a automated <laughs> recycling of revenue roll in the background while you do other stuff. Customers, basically the same thing as the orders, just a listing of your individual customers and how they interacted with your store. Discounts is a big piece, uh, very important when you're running a store online. So we have a whole discounting system that you can use. I created a free, a free cupcake, I created a discount um, just so, yeah, sorry, just so you can um, see what it looks like. So that's a discount. I set an expiry date. Uh, there are other parameters that you can decide to set or not. You can leave them blank. And then it's always a, a consequence and a trigger, right? So the consequence, the consequence, the action here is apply $10 off when a given code here, free cupcake is entered. So if I go over here, uh, same thing as uh, last time will happen. So I'll start a cart, uh, add that to cart. And I had already added the discount so you can see it here, but that's basically you'd enter that here, apply, and then it, it's free cupcake. You see the amount that has been discounted. Uh, products is a cool one. So with Snipcart, products live in the HTML. They live in the front end of your website. As soon as a product is added to a cart and then purchased on your site, it will show up in that products listing on your dashboard. Um, if you want all of the products that are defined on your site to show up there so you can manage their inventories, for, for instance, you can just use that fetch feature where you punch in your domain and uh, will crawl your site and display all of your products there. So with Snipcart, you can also do some inventory management um, let's say I wanted to manage the stock of this white chocolate blast. I could go here and say by product variation or as a single product. So uh, by product variation, it maps to the custom fields you have defined on a given product. So a t-shirt could be medium, large, X large, right? And you could define the stock for all of these options. Uh, but let's say I, I want to set it as a single product and even allow out of stock purchases. Save that. And if I go back to my products, you'll see here that the white chocolate blast now has 200 in stock. So if y'all, if you, you, you folks go crazy and buy 300, uh, well, it'll actually work because I allowed out of stock purchases. So <laughs> bad example. Um, yeah. Uh, last but not least, digital goods. So you, that's basically a place where you can upload a file that you want to sell on your site. It will give you a GUID that you can define in your buy buttons. Um, Snipcard is cool in that way because it lets you sell subscriptions, physical products, and digital goods all on the same site, all from the same e-commerce solution. And that other big section is all of your parameters and configs right for your site. Uh, so that's where you can connect the payment gateway, set up taxes, shipping, and many, many other stuff like multi-currencies. Um, and you can add some users to your account also. So that's pretty much it for Snipcard's dashboard. And I'm like, in two minutes, I'm giving a lightning talk. So I'm going to stop sharing this here.